Hello everybody. Today I'm hoping I can answer a question you may have about how to shoot tethered with the Sony a7 III in two Lightroom. So it seems like the computer or the software and the camera don't communicate well together. I had a Canon camera in the past and had no issue whatsoever, but now when I tried the Sony in Lightroom, it just doesn't work. So we need the help of a free software called Imagine Edge software you can find on the Sony website. So I'll show you where to find that. I'll show you how to set the whole workflow and I'll show you the results. Okay, step one, we need to find the Image and Edge software. So let's go on the Sony website here. We're gonna go under the A7 III in the Overview tab. If you scroll down, you're gonna end up at the bottom of the page and you'll find the Image and Edge software. If you click Learn More, you will be redirected to this page where you can download it for Mac or Windows. So Image and Edge come with three components, uh, the remote, the viewer, and the edit. So really what we want all of this is the remote, but they all come with the one download. So we just download the whole thing and we are done. Okay, so that was step one. Now step two, we need to configure the A7 III to accept uh, any type of connectivity with the computer. So if what we're gonna do is we're gonna power the A7 III and then we're gonna go to the menu. In the menu, we're gonna go to USB connection under the tab setup four and we're gonna make sure this is set at PC remote. So PC remote, not the other modes. Once that's done, you can power off the uh, camera if you want, and then we are done. After that, we'll need to connect the camera to the computer. So you can use the cable that came to charge the uh, camera with it. So that's the little USB cable. So you don't need the power wall, obviously. So you just need this connection. You can buy any, any one of those that's longer if you want to. So then we're just gonna connect this right there and then we'll put it on the side for now. Okay, so now that's done. Step number three, we need to set up a folder where we're gonna have those picture to go into. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna go in my finder under here and I'm gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna call this tests and then that will be my test folder. So very important that it's a new folder or at least an empty folder. So you can create, put it wherever you want, and then we'll find uh, the software will be redirected to that folder. So make sure you know where it is. Okay, so when that's done, now it's time to plug the camera to the computer. So I'm gonna connect that via the USB. Okay, and I'm gonna power the camera. Now, once that's done, I'm gonna go and in the application folder, imagine edge, and I will open the remote. And now it's gonna tell you it is connected. And now I have my live view mode on my camera here. So I can basically do whatever I gotta do here. Move my camera a little bit, press the camera here so it's focused. And then after that, I can change a few things. You can change the shutter speed if I wanted to. I'll get that like, lower shutter speed, I'll bump my ISO, then you get the histogram. There's a few things you can do there, all right? So once you get this going, it's almost half done here. So you need to set the remote software to uh, communicate with Lightroom. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna go to the remote at the top, and then we're gonna go to the settings. In the settings here, in preview, you're gonna have the options to click display preview with select program. And then you're gonna go and change and choose Lightroom Classic from there. So I've already done that. So now I'm gonna press okay. And then one more thing we need to do there, we're gonna go to save folder. And then we're gonna go and find a folder we just created. So meaning that the actual photo will be saved in this folder. Perfect, so that's all we gotta do right now. The next step now, we need to open Lightroom. So we're gonna open Lightroom Classic. So whenever that's done here, we're gonna go into some menus. We're gonna go to File, and then we're gonna go to Auto Import and Auto Import Settings. 
At this point, we're going to click here the Enable Auto Import. Sorry, always does that. Here we go. And then the Watch folder, we're going to choose the folder we just created. So, my test folder. And then the destination, also, we're going to choose the same folder. Perfect. If you want to, you can change the metadata and change a few more information there. It's very up to you. Okay, I'm going to press OK there. Now, if I go back to my remote, I can take a photo here. So when I take a photo, what will happen is that Lightroom will be redirected. Here we go. Tethered tests. And this is the photo I just took. So if I want to at that point, I can zoom in, whatever it is. I can go back to my remote. If I want to, I'll make a little bit of a change here. Let's say I'll make this a little darker so we see. Now, another thing I forgot to mention here that I changed, if you go to settings, if you don't click display preview with the selected program, but you say display preview viewer, then when you shoot your photo, it's going to open into the viewer, which is the uh, one of the three software into the Imagine Edge package. So that's why you want to click the display preview with the selected program and choose Lightroom Classic. That way you don't have this problem. So then we're going to take another photo just to show you it works again. So it'll take a few seconds, bring me to this folder, the test folder, and then whenever they're done doing the communication here, I'll have my second photo. Here it is. So from there, you can do whatever editing you need to do. You can zoom in, you can make sure everything is smooth and good and gravy, and then you can work with Lightroom shooting with your Sony a7 III. So it's a bit of a jumping to the hoops here to make everything work. So hopefully that answers a few questions and that explains a little bit how it works. And that leads that way if you're a Lightroom user like I am, you don't have to uh, get a new software and try uh, uh, to redo a, a new editing workflow that way. You can just, just use that um, remote software for the Imagine Edge package and then use that as the jumping link to Lightroom. All right, so if you like this uh, video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the box below. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe for my channel. And until next time, I wish you a good day.